I've always drawn written letters. I've loved inks and ink nibs and pencils, pens and paper, and colouring in for as long as I can remember. I studied art many years ago at Leeds Polytechnic, and I was an art teacher for two years in Bexhill on Sea. Then my life turned to music as a professional teacher, performer, composer, accordionist. Very suddenly, actually. Then as a 50th birthday present, several years ago, two friends gave me three beautifully bound sketchbooks and they sat looking at me for 18 months. I started to remember and to think about the Dada artists and Kurt Schwitters who collected everyday things, bus tickets, and all sorts of bits and pieces that was known as rubbish, really. And making them into art forms, sticking them in their sketchbooks. And Emil Nolder, another great artist, used to write beautiful thoughts on art and thoughts on life that I've collected since I was 14. While recovering from surgery, I began this sketchbook journey journal. I collect views. I collect quotes and everyday histories and my own thoughts and quotes and bits and pieces from newspapers and books I'm reading and it has become my everyday life and passion. Sometimes it captures landscapes, ideas, dreams and always as the Scottish artist Francis Boag states, a feeling within a place. I love handwriting and words and the space is in between. Within these pages, I can be myself, always conscious or unconscious, interpreting or copying, and it's such fun. I have now 20 sketchbooks, and I return to them so often to remember and to be inspired.